We've got those lions. He's just walking around out there. They're just were sleeping on the side of this timber mine and uh, have just left there. Now, lions on foot, especially with cubs, you've got to watch out for. You don't want to pressurize a mom into thinking that she's got no options but to walk away. So they stood up on the side of the town right now. They've just walked away there. Let's see if we can get another brief glimpse. Come with me. We're going to be safe, stay in the open. You don't want to hide. Let these lions think that you're trying to hunt them at all. It's 100% safe where we are now as long as we just respect their space. See if we can get you into a position where we can have another brief glimpse at them. Lions generally, eh, I can see one walking there. They're just walking away from us through the thickets there. Let's go into the open a bit here. I don't want to be behind any thick cover like this. Now, they may shout at us a little bit. What we'll do is just get into this open patch here. Sorry, I just had to take my earphone out. Okay, come. There's a line there. They're just keeping about a hundred yards or so in front of us, which is typical of line. What will happen is they'll go into some thick bush and then they See the green gra gra quarry? Just to the right of that. Mm. So come out a little bit. Not better. Ah, there it's we very obscure. So there's just that's the obscured vision of a lion. So you're not gonna get just got a face here. If you come left a little bit, you'll have a face underneath that green quarry. The green bush in the background. Just the Ears pricked up watching us. The moment the wind is blowing from us, excuse me, from them to us, so we're not overwhelming them with, with scent, which is a good thing. Let's go on top of the turmoil mine and see if we can see anything else here. We're not going to push them any further. We're going to call in vehicles. What you don't want to do is you don't want to create... You don't want to create a... Um, they're against the trees, the rest of them are standing there. What you don't want to do is create this feeling with lions that whenever they see people, that's a negative thing. What you, what you want to try and do is always make sure that the lions are comfortable. And as you can see, those lions are lying down there. That is the thick bush that I was talking about. Mom has set up a perimeter there. She won't be going anywhere. So that is, this is how comfortable lions are on foot in the Sabi Sands today with this pride under these conditions. It's not the same every time. Now just to remind you, this is live. This is as it's happening now. And we're standing on foot here. And we've just tracked them down and very safe at the moment. The, the reason for that is that you can see that those are youngsters. They're not running away from us, leaving mom between us and them. If we got any closer, we definitely elicit some sort of negative reaction. But right now, we can enjoy these animals on foot, which, let me tell you, is one of the most special things to do. Close to these great cats, but not in competition with them. You can see them all just getting close to one another there. Uh, Dina, you said that this is spectacular. I must agree with you, Dina. There's, I'm so happy that you can actually feel the excitement that we're feeling on foot to these animals, but more so, I want to convey the, the relaxed nature of these animals. It's not always the case. Lions sometimes can look so panicked when they, you bump into them on foot. 
in this case we've just got a bunch of lions watching us as much as what we're watching them. But without them feeling threatened, there's no body language there that says that, that we threatened them. Testimony to Herbert's great tracking skills that we ended up finding them. As we came around a tree, we saw one lion dart away from this termite mound we're now standing next to. They moved off about, about 50 to 60 yards away from us now. And uh, yeah, what we're going to do now is call in a vehicle and they will come and enjoy these lions. We won't get any closer. Lions on foot, especially with young cubs like we think they've got, are very, very dangerous. And the reason for that is young cubs have a, have a tendency to go for cover. And Welcome to all our new viewers and just to let you know we are on foot here at Juma Private Game Reserve. We've been on a bushwalk this morning. We've been tracking a pride of lions and we've just found them. They're lying on a termite mound watching us on that side. You can just see there a bunch of young lions. You can see their ears are pricked up towards us. Now just as a reminder this is live right now. You're watching this with us out of the Kruger National Park and Juma Private Game Reserve in South Africa. These young lions, which are, there are 14 of them in this particular pride with five adult females, were just enjoying the sunshine here in this early morning. It's just gone seven, just after seven o'clock. And they've probably been walking around most of the night hunting. We found their tracks a little bit earlier based on where we left them yesterday and walked in on them on foot. They got a bit of a fright as we arrived and moved off, but are feeling very secure in that thick bush over there and just testimony to how conservation in this area works, non-intrusive or non-invasive conservation. And these lions, they feel threatened, obviously enough to create some space, but not threatened enough to run away and allowing us the pleasure of viewing them on foot and virtually undisturbed. We're not supported by any vehicles or helicopters or anything. And as you can see from that young lion's very relaxed walk in front of the rest of the pride. They know where we are, but they don't feel threatened by us whatsoever. And that's a good thing. Now, I don't see very many adult lions at the moment. I think that there's a good chance that that's made up perhaps of one adult lion and the rest are cubs. Cubs on foot with adult lions tend to be a bit more nervous. That's because moms, and rightly so, are more protective. I think what's happened is you probably find that the rest of Pride is off hunting somewhere and they've left these youngsters here. There were tracks of two adult females. That's what led us in here and there's a good chance that they're either somewhere in the vicinity or off hunting somewhere else at the moment. Now, what are we going to do? We're not going to obviously go closer. That will create an aggressive response from, from any adult lions that are there. But also, we want to try and um, foster this, this relationship, for lack of a better word, with these cats. We tracked to a distance where we see one another, they moved away and created some distance. We will not get closer than this distance. If anything, we'll stay in the open and back away in the next couple of minutes. And what we'll do is, using radios, we'll call in our comrades. 
But Terry, or Kerry, you wanted to know what uh, what bird is busy calling in the background. There's two birds. There's a woodpecker bashing his face against the tree close by, and then that whistling noise is an emerald spotted wood dove or green spot dove calling in a tree just above where those lions are sitting at the moment. It's actually quite amazing, Kerry, that you can hear that. That bird is probably about 30 yards or so away. Now I'm going to lift up my binoculars and just scan the area in front. I'd like to see, now although we track two adult females in here, what you're busy looking at there are just cubs. And very relaxed at the moment. Mary, you'd like to know if they, if, if they get curious, will they come towards us? Mary, yes. Um, it's not uncommon for lions to follow people on foot. For years and years, lions in the Kruger National Park actually hunted human beings. There were lots of man-eaters way up into the year, into the 2000s even in the, in the Kruger Park. It wasn't uncommon for you to have a lion trailing you for almost that entire time. Um, right now, with us being in the open, it's unlikely that uh, that these animals will come closer to us, that these lions will come closer to us. Um, with the exception of an adult female, which they sometimes can circle around and come at you from unexpected directions. So I have my head on a swivel at the moment and looking in all the gaps. We've got a termite mound right next to us, so it's offering us good safety. Um, and we're not hiding behind a uh, a tree uh, Brenda you'd like to know what it, what I do if they charge us well Brenda when something charges at you basically what they're trying to do is, is get you to create some space and so all I do is stop the charge by shouting back at the lions uh, you lift your hands up you try and look as intimidating as possible and as soon as that lion looks like it's slowing down you create space so creating space in the open is what I do um, while making a lot of noise uh, screaming and shouting, but right now we don't need to do that. These lions are super relaxed with us. In actual fact, it's one of the best lion sightings on foot I've had in recent history. I mean, you'd like to know what country we're in at the moment. I mean, we're in South Africa, um, right at the tip of the African continent. We are in the Kruger National Park. One of Africa's largest super parks and the largest national park in this country. And we are on its uh, western side, but in the central region on the western side. And we've been tracking these lions for most of the morning and we've just found them on foot now. Now the reason why we're on foot tracking these lions is that none of these lions are collared in any way or have any GPS tracking dots or anything like that. We do it old school out here. We follow their footprints and interpret their behavior using the signs that they leave in their passage. And we managed to find them on foot after about an hour. Now, Christine, you want to know how many lions there are here? Christine, it, I don't actually know. There's a couple of youngsters here. I saw at least three youngsters, not the tiniest cubs. Their tracks suggest that there's newborn cubs here somewhere and then there's these basically teenagers that we're having a look at there um, there's definitely more than five or six and probably close to about nine or ten I would imagine it's quite difficult to actually count lions in the bush like this they, they tend to spread out underneath thick cover and uh, I think we're looking at about ten lions now I can see about five just in that picture one two three four five and I've watched another three walk past and lie down underneath them wow that's awesome lions on foot <laughs> uh, Chris you say it's not the ones that you can see that worry, that worry you, it's the ones that you don't see. And Chris, I must echo your thoughts there down to the letter. It's not the lions that you can see that's the worry, it's the ones that you can't see. Absolutely. And what you don't want is a lion sneaking up from behind you and giving you a fright. Now, there's a misconception out there that lions are 
will kill you at first sight and that they are deadly dangerous but to be honest with you it is possible to live in harmony with these massive cats as what we are doing right now is showing you. Um, the unfortunate thing is it's taken us centuries to get to this particular state where man and beast are in a type of harmony with one another. Listen to those birds busy alarm calling at the lions. It's a flock of birds that are alarm calling at the lion. Carla, you want to know if the mother lion would feel threatened by us? She absolutely would. Uh, as I walked up to this particular position, this is the safest position for us to be right now. It's right next to a termite mound in the open. I was listening to her growling. There was a small growl that she gave and then she moved off. I think the adult lioness is actually lying on the other, on the other side of us at the moment. It was a good idea. I just needed to take my earpiece out to listen to what was going on over here. Um, the lines are now moving off. Um, there's a good chance that uh, the adult lioness moved off and doesn't see us at the moment. Now, Charlie, you want to know if the uh, if the lions are used to the safari vehicles in this area. The, yes, they are used to the safari vehicles. For about 60 years now, there's been safari vehicles in this area. And these lions, generation upon generation of them, will have seen safari vehicles. We've got no vehicle close to us at the moment. We're in the middle of a block of bush surrounded by some roads. And, uh, and these lions are lying up in the middle of the thick stuff, in this middle of this block. We, uh, we've got no vehicles to us now, but what we will do is we have a radio. We will call in our comrades in a couple of minutes and let them come and have a look at this sighting, giving us a chance to reverse out of here and leave these lines, which I think we're going to do before they move off too much. So what we're going to do is, using this termite mound as some cover, we're going to step away lightly and slowly, and we're going to leave these lines just for now giving us some time to create some distance. So we're going to show them that we're walking away by creating a little bit of distance in the open. And we're going to de-stress this particular, we're going to de-stress this particular sighting by creating some space. And then we're going to call in, bless you, Vian, we're going to call in some of our other comrades. All right, so for to our Facebook viewers, I just want to say thank you for joining us on foot to these lines in the middle of Africa. We'll see you again soon.